from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Good afternoon, Horn Frog Faithful. Back home at Amon G. Carter, this is Herbert Rowe reporting live from Amon G. Carter Stadium here in Fort Worth, Texas. This is the one we've all been waiting for for the past couple of weeks. The number two Kansas State Wildcats are in town, and can the Horn Frogs play the upset and upset these Wildcats? The Horn Frogs, after this week's latest polls, sit at the number seven ranking in the country. Still, that only loss way back earlier in the season to Arkansas. That's the only thing that's preventing them from being undefeated right now and possibly being in where Kansas State is. They could possibly be number two or number one or number three or anywhere in there. But their only loss is to Arkansas, and it's a non-conference loss, meaning both teams, since they have not lost in conference, this is for the Big 12 championship basically right here. This Today's game will be for the Big 12 championship. The Horn Frogs have the home field advantage, and all of you fans that came out to the, to the field, we thank you for that. Now let's get into some action. We hope it's a good one. Here come the Horn Frogs out onto the field. The Horn Frogs look to defeat the Wildcats, and it's going to be a tough one, no, le no doubt, as this is the toughest opponent the Horn Frogs have had to face all year. Will this young Horn Frog team be able to pull this one out? We'll have to find out. So here we go, first and ten now here on their first drive. Kemp in the shotgun. He's got two backs in the backfield with him. Temp, Kemp. Right, left side to Porter, nearing the 30-yard line. Give him the first down on that pass completion. Kemp, first and 10 now under center. Kemp, handoff to Johnson. Going up the middle, gets the first down. And inside the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Nice run there by Matt uh, Johnson, or Mike Johnson, excuse me. I don't know why I said his name wrong. Uh, that is my error. First down, uh, Horn Frogs as the Wildcats defense is not too happy with themselves right now. Don't want to get TCU going early as they can make you pay. First and 10, Kemp running the option. Oh, how did he survive that hit and pitch it out to Johnson? And he gets the first down on the play. How did that happen? Oh, my goodness. You'll see it here. They pitch it out at the last possible second, and Johnson gets the first down on the option play. That reminds me of the old 80s SMU Mustangs right there, what they used to do, the front horn frogs back in the 80s. Third and 14, Kemp looking to throw. Kemp over the middle and incomplete for intended for Anderson. Horn frogs are going to have to kick a field goal. They missed the field goal. One second left, first quarter. Kemp all alone in the shotgun. Going deep to end the quarter. Harris on the sideline. Harris has the catch. Harris down the field. Touchdown. We strike first. Just before the first quarter's over. And the Horn Frogs take an early lead. Now as we near the second quarter. With no time remaining. Just the extra point separating us from the first and second. The Horn Frogs strike first. It's six to nothing. Everybody's going ex berserk here at AMG Carter. Kemp just wound up and fired down the field. And Harris on the streak route. Makes the play in stride. And never stops running. And gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. They're on top here early. It's seven nothing. Second and twelve now here in the second quarter. Kansas State not able to do on anything on offense today. Kemp going deep. That's Porter at the thirty. He's down the sideline. Porter to the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And suddenly the Horn Frogs have dialed up the aerial assault and have taken a fourteen nothing lead on the number two team in the country. First and 10 now as it's 14-7. Kansas State finally gets on the board. Kemp looking to throw. Kemp over the middle. Anderson's got the catch. Anderson's got some space. Anderson down the middle of the field and into the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And could they have just found a weakness in this Kansas State team? At least they have in their defense. They, they've been going deep with their passes, and it's been working out just fine for the Horn Frogs today. Three long touchdown passes for Kemp on the day, including the one to Porter that gave Porter the school receiving record for yards in a season. That's a great record to have, and we're still not done with this season. 24-14, 23 seconds to halftime. Kemp fires downfield. Anderson got the catch. He's got the space. He's going to be tackled inside the 30 to about the 27-yard line. Horn Frogs call timeout with 16 seconds to go. 
It reminds me of last week when they dialed up the Hail Mary at the end of the first half. Kemp going deep. Harris has the catch. Harris has another touchdown. His second touchdown of the game. His second touchdown reception of the first half with nine seconds remaining. Kemp just fired over to Harris all along the right side. And Harris made the catch. And Harris has a touchdown. And the Horn Frogs lead it 28-14 to as we near halftime here in AMG. Second and 10 now as we are into the third quarter. Still 28-14. Kemp looking to throw. Kemp left side. Nice catch by Porter. And the first down. So Porter extending his record for yards in a season there on that catch. You'll see the replay here as he went, looked like he ran the corner route. Excuse me. Could not be tackled by that first K-State defender, but gets tackled out of bounds by the second one. Another Horn Frog first down here in this game. And you see all the jawing going on between these two teams. So here we go, first and ten now. Kemp under center. Kemp takes the snap. Hand off to Johnson. No, play action. Kemp throws it right side. Harris has the catch. Harris has the first down and is inside the 40-yard line. Another first down for the Red for the Horn Frogs. As you see Kemp's statistics on the season there. It's still first and ten now. Kemp in the shotgun. Johnson to his right. Kemp looking to throw. Kemp goes deep. And Harris has it again. They've done this three times now in this game. Horn Frogs strike again, and Ricky Harris has the school receiving touchdown record for touchdowns in a season now with 11. St now 42-21 as Kansas State got intercepted for a touchdown, and now going deep, Harris again! 40, 35, 30, 25, 20 down the sideline, Harris, fourth time today, Horn Frogs lead it 49-21. to The school record for passing touchdowns in a game goes to Brian Kemp with six now. 47 seconds left. The Horn Frogs lead at 49-42 after a great comeback almost by the Wildcats. Fourth and 10 coming up as Kansas State. Good defense there. Now we got to play some defense. They let them get back in this game. Second and 10. 10 seconds to go. Under the middle of the field. Kansas State doesn't have any timeouts. Five seconds to go. They're going to get they're not going to run out of time. Horn Frogs pull off the upset. They win at 49-42. Their defense is able to hang on at the last minute. And the Horn Frogs take over first place in the conference for now. And they win this one 49-42. Wow, what a game here at AMG. It looked like it was going to be all TCU. Kansas State with a valiant effort scoring 21 unanswered. Just didn't have enough time to get make the comeback. And they will suffer their first defeat of the season. You see the play of the game was the long touchdown pass that got Horn Frogs on the scoreboard. The long touchdown to Harris as he had four touchdown receptions in this game. Kemp had six passing touchdowns and even the defense got in with a pick six in the third quarter off of uh, Brian Jones of Kansas State. You see your player of the game here is Ricky Harris, of course. Those five catches were big as four of them were touchdowns. 240 receiving yards for Ricky Harris on the day. That will pretty much wrap up activities here at AMG Carter. Join me next week for our bye week. We will talk about who the Horn Frogs will be facing off against in week 13 and who might be or might not be committing to the Horn Frogs recruiting wise. It should be a good one. It'll be all after this game next week. We will have, uh, instead of our normal pregame show, we will have our Saturday spotlight on the recruiting class of 2013. It should be a good one. Herbert Rowe reporting live from Amon G. Carter. Now back to you, Wildcat. All right, thanks, Herbert. Thanks for, uh, watch, listen, thanks for, uh, pet, 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 pet. sorry, guys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I worked hard on it, and Herbert did a great job as well. Uh, again, as um, you know, it's it's tough to do these as uh, another person. I I enjoy doing them as someone else, but my goodness, it's hard to. I mean, just as an offensive coordinator, it's hard to keep you guys in sync with what the defense is doing from a broadcast perspective. As um, you know, I'm I like doing it this way, but. How do you guys think I should do these videos? I mean, the defense we can't control because we're just the offensive coordinator. Take a look at the stats uh, after that impressive 49-42 upset over the number two Kansas State Wildcats. The Horned Frogs now are in first place in the Big 12 standings. And this would be a good one as next week will be our bye week. Instead of having a game, we'll have the bye week. We'll have all the recruiting updates. 
that'll be another episode that'll be coming out hopefully soon and um <clears throat> excuse me um we'll we'll show you right here now eight and one on the season can we finish eleven and one with three games remaining or we may have two we may be nine and one there's the players that committed over this week and uh two guys this week Hopefully we can get some more next week, guys. Come back for week 12 recruiting. That'll, that'll be next week, and that should be good. See you guys.